Hey guys, Cheyenne here, and if you notice anything different with this video, it is because I'm filming from a brand new phone. Um, I decided to upgrade this past weekend, and I am currently using the iPhone 8 Plus. Now, I'm gonna, like, say, just say, right off the bat, I am not a huge fan of the iOS operating system, just whatever. I am just, uh, not a huge fan of it. It's really basic to me, and whatever. Um, but I do really like this phone. Um, I like how fast it is with things. I like how, uh, crisp the camera is. And you know what? I really know why people use filters now on their pictures because this shit picks up every goddamn wrinkle I have. <laughs> so yeah, huge difference with the camera. Obviously, but, but, like I'm sure if I went to the Samsung um, S9, I would have had the same thing, same thoughts. Um, I was working with a Samsung S6 in, as my previous phone, so obviously the camera was not as good as today's cameras. It, like, there's no, no hands down, like, the, the camera sucked compared to this stuff here. It was good for its time, but now we are onto this stuff here, and what the heck is going on with that light? Whatever. Um, so yeah. New camera, and a whole new everything. Um... I am not sure how easy it is going to be for me to transfer this video to my laptop. I am currently working with a Windows laptop. My plan is is for, because my husband also has an iPhone, he does his own YouTube stuff and his is a lot more bigger than mine, obviously. Um, so he and I were thinking that we should upgrade to a MacBook because it would, would be better for editing. Um, so that is the plan. Now, it is not in the cards anytime soon because obviously MacBooks are really expensive, but it is going to happen soon. So we thought, well, if we're going to be going to a MacBook, maybe we should have all Apple products and it'd be easier for like the iCloud and all that stuff. Like I'm not, I, I, as you can see, I'm not that savvy when it comes to technology, but I do have my opinions on it. And if you want to like a quick review here, even though that's not the point of this channel, um, like I said, the camera is great. The speed of the phone itself is great. Um, my biggest issue with all Apple products is basically coming down to the Apple apps themselves, like Mail and Maps specifically, and also to the fact of the lack of customization with the actual phone itself. I like my widgets. I love having my weather right there on the on the front screen uh, on the home screen when I turn my phone on. I like having my Flow app. Uh, it has its own little widget on Android as well. I really like that. I like having everything there so that if I say I wanna call my husband, I just have to do it at a click of a button versus having to go to the phone and searching him for his name or typing in his phone number. It's all stupid shit, but it, it's what I like to do. And obviously I cannot do that on the iPhone. Um, but, I do not mind this phone. The screen is very, very nice. The the overall quality of the device, like it, it's a very hefty device. Although that is one complaint I do have. I find that this phone is quite heavy. Um, I'm gonna have to get some kind of, uh, I don't know, like a maybe like a phone tripod or something, just something because when I'm filming or, or anything like that with my phone, it, it's heavy. Like it's quite heavy in the hand and it's hard to keep it still and and at a nice height or whatever for, for all that stuff so yeah it's it's quite heavy but anyways um on to the other stuff that I wanted to talk about um I it, this past weekend was not the greatest of weekends for eating wise and I don't know what why why like I I had it in my head that I'm gonna stop with all the junk food and everything like that. But once I hit that 210, I don't know if I, if it's just like well I can finally celebrate or what in my head or what. But it just I felt like as soon as I hit that 210 on Friday, you know I can take a week off. That's I it was in my brain and it's stupid because I probably set myself back. I'm gonna have to work all week to catch up again. But that's what was in my head this past weekend, and I ate like crap. Now, I was active, very active. Uh, we went swimming, and we did a lot of walking. I went for a run, and I do need to speak about that. And a whole bunch of other stuff as well, and suffered through this ridiculous heat that we're having, like it's a heat advisory today again. And I do apologize about the light. I have something weird going on with this light fixture here, and 
Um, if I turn it off, then you're not going to be able to see me at all. I do apologize for that. So, yeah, it, it, it's been, like, a very active weekend. Excuse me. But it's been a very crap eat weekend. So, um, I'm going to start over today as far as eating. I'm going to eat great. I'm going to be working out in a minute. That's why I'm wearing my workout gear. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so, I did week... I'm on week five of this D2 5K. I successfully did uh, week five, day one and day two with no issues. Um, I was able to do it. It was not easy, but I was able to do it. And it was decent. Like it was a decent speed and everything. And then I, on Saturday, I decided to try week, f or week five, day three. Now I don't know what they're thinking because I really, I really don't know what they're thinking. You know, day four, Day one is uh, a five minute run, walk, five minute run, walk, five minute run. Day two is a uh, eight minute walk, run, walk, eight minute run, and then you, your cool down. Day three is a bloody 20 minute run. Why? I am not ready for that. I was able to go for a solid 11, maybe 12 minutes before I was just done. It could have been also the fact that it was so bloody hot on Saturday. But holy crap, how the, how the hell am I supposed to do a 20 minute run after only going as far, as far as 8 minutes? That's just stupid. Just absolutely stupid. That's like skipping ahead 2 weeks in my opinion. I don't get that at all. It's setting you up for failure, especially if you've never been a runner in your, before in your life. And now I know why I always end up quitting this app because I always get to this point and then, yeah, totally discouraged. Now I, have, I feel like I have to start all over again at week four or three or three or whatever just to get up my endurance again so I could do this 20 minute run. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do week five again because I'm hoping that by doing week five, maybe I, maybe I have a chance if I do it again. I don't know. But I think that's absolutely stupid. I don't know what they were thinking about. C25K, you really need to rethink that week five, day three. That is so stupid. Maybe do like a 10 minute run, walk 10 minute run or something like that. Or a 12 minute run, walk 8 minute run or something like that. I don't know. But there's no reason. There is no Absolutely no goddamn reason for it to be a fucking 20 minute run on week five, day three. No reason at all. I don't get it. I really don't get it. It's possibly the stupidest thing I've ever heard of in my life. That's my little rant for today. Um, so I got all my videos off of, the, I hope I got all my videos off of the Samsung before I sold it and reformatted and all that crap. Um, so I will be posting all those in, in their own separate video, and this will be like a, you know, startup video, um, or the introduction to my next video, I guess you'd say. Um, but yeah, I am super duper excited for this week. Now, okay, <sighs> this is gonna be a long introduction video, but bear with me. I have been thinking about how, because I've already met my first goal for um, July 20th and it's only June the 18th. I've already met that goal. I'm 210 now, I'm good to go. I originally was gonna set a goal for 20 pounds by October 20th, which is my best friend's wedding, and that would put me at 190 for October 20th. And I think I can, I, I, I know I can do that. I, that is a realistic goal of one pound per week. I can do that. I know I can. But I think I'm going to aim to lose another five pounds before her wedding, before my sister-in-law's wedding on July 20th. Um, that is, I believe, like a one and a half pounds per week, I believe. I, like, don't quote me on that. I believe it's one, one and a half pounds per week in, before her wedding. And that would put me at 205. And Th that will be the lightest I've been, oh jeez, probably about seven years. And the reason why I'm thinking about doing this is it's going to be a lot of people there that I, I haven't seen in a very long time, but they they haven't seen me at my skinniest in a long time. And I, I don't know, I just, I feel like I got to... I gotta do this. I gotta do this. I gotta show people and maybe hopefully get a reaction about having the fact that I've lost weight. I doubt it. You know, this family, 
I don't really think they care about me that much, so they probably won't say anything. But it, it's just a mental thing. I think I really want to try to get to that 205 mark before her wedding. And it's going to be kind of like a mini goal. And if I can get it there, I think that it would be stupendous and absolutely amazing and super duper. <laughs> so that is like a little mini goal that I've set for myself. And I really am hoping to get to it. Um, I'm not going to get to it if I keep doing these junk weekends like I just did. But I'm going to work hard and I'm going to do my best. And I'm going to cross my fingers and I'm going to do it. And uh, what are you doing? Are you really that mad at me? Dogs. So, I am hoping that will happen for July 20th. If it doesn't, ultimately, my second ultimate goal is to make it to 190 for October 20th. But my little mini goal is to get to 205. And if I can get there, I will be so freaking happy. You know, so unbelievably happy. So... Yeah, we're like a month away for the wedding. So like I said, about a pound and a half a week. And yeah, I don't think there's anything else I really need to say. I've already gone on for 11 minutes and 40 seconds now. And I think that's good enough. So yeah, if you guys really enjoy this little stupid uh, introduction, just uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. This video is not done though. I have, got, I have a couple more days for you to see. So yeah, see ya. Hey guys, it is Wednesday, June the 20th, um, halfway through my week, hump day, yay. <laughs> uh, so I just wanted to come on and say that like yesterday, obviously we, everything's been the same. I've been doing Julie Michaels workouts, I've been doing my running, um, and nothing actually has really changed. I just really wanted to talk about something that I discovered on the Apple Store, or App Store, or whatever it is called. And it is called uh, Zombie Run. Now, it is this like running program where you are going through different episodes of of a sh like, almost like a show, almost like a TV show where you're the main character. Um, and you know, I don't know why, but I just really enjoyed this program yesterday when I went on my run. And I think it's going to be something that I keep in my regular like arsenal of keeping me motivated during my runs because sometimes, yeah, I go through my run and I don't need anything to keep me motivated at all. And then other times I just, I really need something to do, to, uh, to have going in order to keep me going. I hope that makes sense. That's why, why I've been bringing my dog lately because, uh, she just keeps me wanting to keep going and going and going. So to have something other than my dog who doesn't actually enjoy running, who just does it because I'm making her do it and actually uh, won't look at me after I go for one of my runs, <laughs> uh, I thought this app thing was really cool and I really actually thought that the sounds and everything involved in the app were like really well done and I th I'm still sorry about that late. I really need to look at that but add it to the list. Um, but yeah, I just really want to talk about that. And also too, I found this really nifty thing that is similar to a pop socket, but is actually like a ring thing for your phone. And that's what I'm using today. And I'm, it is so much easier to hold this phone. Like the iPhone 8 plus, I don't know why, like my husband had the iPhone 6 plus before this and it was not this heavy. There, it, there is a significant weight difference. I don't know if it's just, uh, maybe the case I have it on and it shouldn't be like, this is a cheap ass case it's really cheap and very thin and his was an otter box before that i don't know what it is but regardless it it feels really heavy when doing like selfies and videos and stuff like that so yeah i uh really happen to like this ring thing it really helps me hold it up i did want to find um you can get these like tripods for your phone i really wanted one of those and the my local store uh canada computer said that they had three in stock on their website and when I went in there they had no clue what I was talking about. Gotta love that, eh? So I did not get that and instead bought this for $5.99 and you know what, it will have to do for now. Um, there's just one other thing that I wanted to say before I finish up this, this uh, little clip. Um, I actually think I'm gonna do a video, a sit down video, a formal video if you will, um, because I have an idea and 
I just need to write down some things about my idea to finalize it before I actually go and film it. But I actually really, really like this idea. I think that it um, will be informative and interesting, and I don't know if you guys will be interested in it. Uh, but yeah, I think it'd be really cool to watch. And even for myself, I think, you know, going back and reflecting on some of the things that I want to reflect on will be really interesting. But yeah, I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. I'm having a great day, so bye bye Good morning, guys. It is Friday, June the 22nd. Um, it is 6 a.m. in the morning. Um, I'm getting ready to do my workout because I have a pretty busy day ahead of me today. And um, so I just did my measurements and everything. I am 208. 0.5 pounds, which is one and a half pounds down from yesterday, and I am two inches total across my entire body down. Yeah, that makes sense. That, that does make sense. I'm really super happy with that progress. Um, I feel like utter shit today. I have a sore throat. My ear is really bugging me. I'm supposed to go to the dentist today, even though I didn't even know I had this appointment and I have no desire to go to the dentist at all. I just really want to uh, get this workout done and go back to bed. Can you tell how tired I am? Like I slept like utter crap last night. I think I, w first off, I think I went to bed way too early. And second off, uh, I think it just, I was, cause I was started getting sick through the night. Like my throat was killing me all night. So I was up like every, geez, two hours gulping down a bottle of water. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know, like, I'm not ready for this day at all. And, um, I don't really have anything else really to say. Uh, yesterday I went out to Costco with my mom, and they, she, uh, said that she noticed the weight loss. The other day my husband said he noticed the weight loss. I still don't see weight loss, except for when I look at, like, before pictures and after pictures put right beside each other. And only if I'm wearing the same outfit, if I wear anything different, I don't notice anything at all. And I really only notice, like, in my arm. And that's it. Um, oh, I didn't go for a run yesterday. I just did not feel like doing it. I don't know. Wasn't in the mindset to do it at all. The idea of running yesterday was just, like, a big, huge nope. And I think it has to do with the fact that I got up so early to work out. And it's probably going to happen again today with me getting up so early to work out. And I don't know. I just felt incredibly lazy yesterday after working out. I didn't do anything after Costco. Like, sat on the couch and played volleyball, and that's about it. And you know what? It is what it is. I'm hoping that... Um, I'm hoping that this following weekend isn't going to be too bad. Um, it's my daughter, my youngest daughter's sixth birthday weekend. Her actual birthday is on next Wednesday. And I do expect to have cake, and I will be having cake. There ain't no denying it. And um, I already know that I'm probably going to be having like um, hot dogs and hamburgers or something for supper. I don't know. On Saturday, because I'm going to my parents' house. And so I, that's already like on the table. I already know that's gonna happen. Um, Sunday is whatever. It's up to me what I, what I eat. And tonight is up to me whatever I eat. Um, I was thinking about treating myself to some sushi because I've had a massive craving lately tonight. But we'll see. Like, I don't know. This is me being completely miserable on a Friday morning because I feel sick and like utter crap. And I'm tired. I haven't been sleeping well. I am so done with this week. I am so done with the school year. I got four more days left, or, well, five if you count today, of school days left for these kids. And I'm so ready for it to be over with because I'm so done with the school's crap. I'm done. I'm done with school this year. Done, done, done. <laughs> so I hope you guys are having a better day than me. I hope you're not sick like me. And I will see you later.